Today I'm going to demonstrate how to shrink window film on a curved side door window. The first thing I'm going to show you are the six tools we recommend in all our videos. There are a lot of tools out there. We recommend these six. Uh, they'll get the job done. First you have a two to three inch turbo squeegee, a six inch turbo squeegee, a triangle hard cart, a five-way hard cart, a side swiper used for the bottom and back windows, and a one-inch box blade for cleaning windows. I'm going to start off by cleaning the window with this distilled water. Um, fill a bottle, spray bottle full of distilled water. Uh, use about one ounce or one tablespoon of baby shampoo. I'm going to start off by cleaning the window. I'm going to clean the surrounding areas as well. That way if the window film touches any of the surrounding area, um, it cuts down the amount of dirt and debris that may get on the window film um, and can cause scratches. The first and most important thing to determine when shrinking window film is where the factory edge is. I have this front door pattern here. Um, this pattern has already been weeded. The factory edge is on the top. Um, it's the straight edge. Window film will only shrink to a factory edge. I'll explain what I mean by that here in just a second. Go ahead and spray the window wet. Determine which side of the film the liner is on. You want that facing you. So in this case, the clear liner is facing me. I'm going to put this pattern on the window. I have a nice clean window. I can feel that that's smooth. Um, there's no debris behind there that can damage the film. My factory edge, as I showed you, is along the top. The window film will shrink in that direction towards the factory edge and in this direction towards the factory edge. These are the two factory edges on a roll of film um, that were cut from the factory. Window film has a grain and it, 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 it runs through the film and it only shrinks that way. I'm going to spray my pattern take my five-way hard card. I want to bring the slack to the bottom factory edge here. Um, and I want to raise that up an inch or two off the bottom of the, the car there. Um, so that as I'm shrinking down, I, uh, I'm not right up against the rubber. Uh, there's another good reason for doing that. I'll show you in just a second. What I've done here is I've hard carded across the top and down the sides, bringing the slack together at the bottom. Then I'm going to go ahead and card all that out. In this case, this front door glass is not very curved. We recommend shrinking all of your windows. Um, if you get a door glass that's, that's really curved, you're going to get fingers that pop up like that one you see coming up right there. You'll have them all along there. You need to shrink those. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a few more. So I'm going to pinch the film together there and cause that one um, to get a little bigger. I'm going to go ahead and pinch the film and create another one there. Um, may go ahead and kind of pull from the front and see if I can't create another one here somewhere. So I've made three what we call fingers. They look like a fingertip. It's excess film that we're going to shrink. Um, if you have a really curved door, you may have three or four of these that line up on their own right away when you card the film down as I did a minute ago. Um, if not, go ahead and create a few of them. Grab a heat gun. Um, always make sure your heat gun's on the highest setting. You can pick these up at any local hardware store. Um, turn it on. The first thing you want to do is make sure it's warm. It takes 
20, 30 seconds to reach uh, peak temperature. Um, if you start right away, the, the heat gun may be halfway warm and it won't shrink well. Let it warm up. You want to start at the top of the finger. You want to point the heat gun downwards at the top of the finger. You can see the film wrinkles up. That's what you want it to do. That means you're shrinking the film correctly to the factory edge. And you finish it off and, until there's no more of the, the finger there. If it pops up a little, you just give it a little more heat. Start with the next one. I like to run the heat gun over the area that I just did, see if I can get it to pop up again. If it does, I give it a little more heat. And move on to the next one, same thing. Part it down. And that's how we shrink window film on a curved side door glass. Uh, please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.